This is remarkable property. What a project. Yeah, I really don't want to talk about the house. Not unless you want to buy it. Ah, uh, Sid, I guess. Please. Just so you know, okay, I didn't know anything about this meeting until an hour ago. Uh, nobody last night said uh, make time or pick a time or anything like that. And then this morning I buy a plane ticket to see my sister and suddenly it's like DEFCON 4 around here. And that is not paranoia, okay? That is pretty much directly in my face. Understood. Should we not be paying attention? Can you leave us alone, Larry? You've just been through an extremely traumatic experience. Yeah. Doctor of what? What are you? Clinical psychology. Oh. So what do you do? You, you, uh, you give a grief counseling to spies? You have a very unusual security clearance, Marty. You should expect that buying a ticket to Montreal without telling anyone would set off some bells. Yeah. Well, I got some bells of my own going off, OK? I mean, are you going to be the person who tells me what the hell is going on here, or are you just the next mystery babysitter? What do you think is going on? Uh, what I'm trying to do is not think. I just, I want to stop thinking. Have you discussed those feelings with anyone else? Oh, Your sister, God. friends? Are you for real? What about Peter Boyd? Oh. Okay. So we're into everything, is that it? Anything off limits here? Have you ever read your employment security contract? Have I read my employment contract? If you're asking me whether I understand my disclosure restrictions, yes, I have a PhD in biochemistry with postdoctoral fellowships in virology and genetics. I know how to read. What I don't understand is why my colleague has a psychotic episode and shot everyone in the lab. Are you aware of what we do in there? Are you? I mean, I mean, how do I know that you're even cleared for this conversation? Have you discussed anything to do with the incident with anyone other than the investigators? Peter Boyd <laughs> moved out eight months ago. Oh, but I guess you already know that. And no, I haven't spoken to him. You stated that you and Dr. Foyt had no relationship outside of work? None. There was material in his apartment that indicates he had an unusual fixation with you. Photographs, journal entries, they found several articles of clothing. What? Did you ever rebuff him in any way? No. No, no. I I I I always thought he was gay. Look, no one's suggesting that you're responsible for what happened. Oh. <laughs> Survivors Thank you. often experience feelings of guilt. Those feelings can be amplified by the realization that he let you live. That he let me live. Have you seen the video? Do you really think that's what it shows? You are asking all the wrong questions. What should I be asking, Marta? Has anyone looked at Dr. Foyt's blood work? Have they? I mean, that is the only thing that is going to make any sense here. His behavior was. Look, there, there are projects at Sterison, defense projects, that could explain why he did what he did. And the people there are working on, on behavioral design. It's programmable behavior, neural design. Do you, do you understand what I'm telling you? 